Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I've created my query part of the question. So I've created my calculated field and I've put in the criteria that the question asked for. The next thing I now need to do is create the report based on this query. But the way you'll know that you're ready to create a report is because it will start to tell you what fields should be visible in the report. It will tell you that it should, where, how it should fit on a single page, the orientation, sorting. There may be a calculation at the bottom of the report as well, or somewhere in the report, and it will give you the heading. All of that is done in a report. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start my report based on this query. Okay, so here's my query. Um, you can either select it here before you go to create the report, or there's another way. You must just, when you go to create report wizard, you must make sure that the query is selected. The query you want is selected. Okay, and then if I look at the question, it's asking for category, country, code, product, stock, price, and cost. So category, country, code, product, stock. Is it stock? price and cost okay price and cost okay so you just select those fields using the single arrow some reports ask for all the fields in that case you could use a double arrow if you make a mistake here you just click on these arrows to remove the field that you already selected then i'm going to go to next you don't need to worry about grouping levels and um, then we go to next and um, sorting is the next thing. So it says, so what I'll do is I'll just highlight that one there. I've done that. Sort into ascending order of code. That's the next thing that we're going to do. So with a report, it's not necessarily in the order that you would do things. So you have to make sure that in your exam, you're marking off things as you do them so you don't forget to do stuff. So you need to select code and make sure that that says descending. If it's supposed to be descending, you just click and it will change to descending, but it should be ascending, so that's that. Next, it should be landscape. So if I just go back to the question and show you that. So we can now do that. So landscape, and then next, you don't need to worry about the style. The title you can do here as well. So I'll just get the heading from here. It's reorder list. And I will just put that as a title, save you having to type it at the end and then finish. So here's my report at the moment. So I need to make some modifications to it because I'm not quite finished with everything that they've asked for. So I'm just going to go back in. So I've put the heading in so I can highlight that. Okay, then it says we need to make sure everything fits on a single page. We need to put a calculation of the total cost of the order below the cost column and that should be formatted to currency with two decimal places. It should also have this label total cost of order. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the calculation in. So it's asking for total cost of the order. So basically it's sum of cost, it's adding up all of the cost. If we look at the report and we look at the cost, so the total cost of the order will be a sum of all of these costs. If you go into uh, layout view and I'll just close this in this version of access you can actually do this quite quickly if you click on the field that you want to create a calculation of and right click and then go to total cost here and then select the kind of calculation that you want so I want some because I want to add up those costs and click it will then put the calculation in for you so you don't need to worry about remembering um, all of the codes and, the, and all of the brackets and all of that stuff, it will do it for you. If I go into design view, you'll see that the calculation has been added correctly. Okay, so that just saves you a bit of time with trying to remember. The only thing I need to make sure of is that it's in the correct position and access will actually add it directly underneath that column. And in the question, it says that it should be below the cost column. So we've done that. We also need to make sure it's currency two decimal places, which it is already. If it's not, I will show you how to do that now. So if, if it's not, you go into design view, click on the field that you want to format and open the property sheet. So it's the same as in a query. And then you'll see format currency decimal places two. So that's that.
I'll close the property sheet now because I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to go back into layout view. And then it says that we need to put in a label, total cost of order for that total. Sometimes in the question it tells you specifically where to position it. It doesn't tell us in this question, but I'm going to make sure I want that label next to that value so it's really, really clear um, what the label is for. So I'm going to go into design view and I'm going to add a label, not a text box, a label. And I'm just going to put that next to the calculation and paste my text. Now, I'm just going to adjust that slightly because it's a bit too big. And then I'll just move it along a little bit so I can get it close to the calculation. If I go into layout view, that will show me the position of it. That's fine where it is, actually. I'm quite happy with that. You can put a colon there if you want to or a dash. You can format it however you think is best. I'm just going to put a colon on mine um, and just make sure that looks how I want it to look. Okay, so we've done that. Then it says, has your name, basically your details, and um, you'll worry about centre number and candidate number next year. But for this year, you must make sure your name and your teaching group is on every printout that you have in an exam. So for this one, it says it should be on the right in the footer. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back into design view and in the page on the page footer is where your details should be that will ensure that if your report is more than one page your your details will be on every single page now if your report is only one page and you're confident that it's only one page you can use the report footer i would just say use the page footer to be on the safe side so we need to click select label again and make sure we're in the right hand side and just put our name and just make sure that you've right aligned that because even though that's over on the right it's not aligned to the right so i'll just move it i think i'll make it a little bit bigger as well maybe change the color you don't have to do this but i would just like it to be really clear for the examiner so that they they can see exactly what i've done very clearly I'll just make that a little bit bigger okay and then just check in layout view that you're happy with how everything looks. So my heading's correct, my name is there, my calculations are there. You need to then make sure finally, and this is very, very important, is that everything fits on a single page and everything is visible. As it says here, and their labels in full, you need to make sure everything's visible. So I've done that one. I'll just highlight that. And I'm now going to make sure everything's on a single page, which I'm pretty sure it is. The dotted line here is a demarcation of um, where the page ends. So you need to make sure your data fits. Labels are the, basically the headings. So you might look at the columns and see they fit. You need to make sure the headings fit. You can um, just center the line if you think, if you want just to ensure that it's fully visible. You won't lose any marks for formatting it in this way. You just really, really need to make sure that the examiner can see everything. If necessary, you can even resize stuff as long as it doesn't mess up your, um, your data being visible. So as long as it still fits on a single page, you can resize it if you think and if you have time if you don't then you can just leave it as it is as long as it's still visible that's that's no problem at all okay so that's now my all my headings are visible and my data is visible and it fits on a page so that should give you 100 percent of the marks